Hi everyone, so glad that we can be back together again for some cool drawing and today we are going to be drawing a big fierce lion's face. Now if you looked at the thumbnail and thought wow I can't draw that, remember that um, when we put our elements of shape as our building blocks for our, our drawings then we know that the drawings are not more difficult, one drawing is not more difficult than the, than the, than the next maybe it just has a few more pieces so we're going to look at a couple of those elements of shape now quickly before we start the first element of shape that we're going to start off with is a curved line and a curved line is just a curved line and it could be curved in any direction even a spiral is also a curved line and um, when you put curved lines together they can give us different moods so if I draw this, these two lines here next to each other, I've got a, two curved lines next to each other. If I add another curved line that comes close and moves away, it's giving a different feel. So my curved lines, when I've got these spaces that are closer together or further apart, then they can give us different moods, different movement. So when we are get to some of our curved lines, I'm going to remind you about this when we're drawing the, particularly in the main of our lion's head then we are going to want to be thoughtful about where those curves are going the same goes for our angled lines and we have a lot of angled lines again and an angled line is a line that bends so much it comes to a point so here we have the point now angled lines they also can go in any direction and for a lion I want to change the direction of my angled lines as I go. So for example, as I'm going around his mane, I want to change the shape, the size, and the direction of my angled lines. Remember that if you are little and, and grade R or grade one, and you struggle with getting that nice sharp point, then split it up and do it in two steps. One, and then start at the point and do the other one. If you start on this side and try and aim, then sometimes we can go a bit wobbly. Alright, so we're going to do one and then start at the point and come back. Or you can make it a curved one, start at the point and come back. Alright, so now that that's out the way, let's start drawing. Keep those things in mind as we go. So our start of our lines face is using curved lines and they're very simple. And it's going to be some wonderful brain exercise for us today because what we do on the one side we're going to do the mirror image the opposite on the other side today we're going to be drawing our line and tomorrow we're going to be coloring them in so it's going to be a nice project to do for the next two days so in the middle of my um i'm starting maybe just past halfway up and i'm going to do two sort of big curved lines that look a bit like ticks and they're going to be the eyebrows of my lion. Again, I'm going to add another curved line coming on the side and a curved line for his eyes. One on this side and one on this side and try and make them sort of the same sort of size. If they're a little bit different it doesn't matter. All right, we started. You can already see he's looking fierce. We're going to do another curved line for his eyeball, which is going to be inside there. And I don't want a round circle that's closed for his eyeball. I want it almost like his eyebrows um, is overlapping. All right, we've got two eyes. And I'm just going to draw in two circles as well we are going to keep those white and we're going to color in um we're going to we're going to color in after all right let's do his nose i'm going to come down a little bit and i'm going to do a curved line and my curved line is in line with the edge of, of his eyes and another curved line for his nose and i can draw in two nostrils. Right, all we're doing is curved lines. Each curved line is very easy, going step by step. 
Right, you're going to come down to your straight lines and then we're going to curve those and come out to the side and to the side. And these are sort of in line with the, eye, the pupils or the eyeballs of his pupils, I would say. Yes. Okay, we're going to do his cheek. So we're going to carry on here and we're going to do a curved line that comes up and almost joins up to his nose. And what are we doing on one side? We're going to do on the other side. We're doing the opposite. And let's put in some of his details for his whiskers. And you can see I'm putting rows of dots going up at an angle. So three rows on this side, three rows on the other side. Remember to pause the video and then you can finish a step in your own time and then you can always press play and carry on. If you don't, that's, you can go entirely at your own pace. All right, we're going to add some more um, details now to his nose here. Let's bring these lines a little bit closer. I don't want them to touch, but I, don't, I want a little more space. And I'm going to put some wrinkles. So it's quite close in here. I'm going to put one and one on the side. Two, they're just curved lines and they're making him look really, really fierce. And I'm going to join these two up at the top. All right, you can start to see already how fierce he's looking. Let's also put, make his frown really big and fierce. Okay. You can see his face, his expressions already coming and all we've used is curved lines, easy as pie. Right, we're gonna go on to his mouth, which is gonna be open with his big teeth. So on this side, we're gonna do an angled line, a sort of curved angled line for one big tooth. And I'm gonna do the same sort of one on the side. I want it to be the same size. Right, I'm going to put a gentle curve line between the two. I'm going to do some more teeth. Another one, smaller. One on one side, one on the other side. I like to mark where the middle is now. And I'm going to put two teeth on this side. And two teeth on this side. All right. Remember to pause the video so you can get your, your those teeth nice and sharp. Right, next we're going to do two straight, short straight lines. And then a curved line that's going to come down towards the teeth. And down. And same on the side. I want to leave space at the bottom for his, his chin. And I'm going to join up those two with a gentle curved line. Right, I'm going to do his teeth at the bottom now. I'm not going to touch this line, but I'm going to do two big curved lines, angled lines coming up, one on one side and one on the other side. And you can see I'm not touching. And I'm going to finish it with a little curved line. Looks like it's going into his gums. And I'm going to do four more teeth. One two, three, four. And I'm going to finish these off also with a curved line at the bottom. Right, he's looking so great. Very, very fierce. Okay, I think he definitely needs to have some sort of tongue, so let's do that. And I'm going to put in a curved line that comes around behind his teeth and a curved line for his tongue and the rest I'm going to colour in black alright he is looking so great let's he maybe looks a little bit funny but when you colour him in, then it will make good sense alright let's go to his ears above his eye here I'm going up I'm going to do a big curved line coming one side 
and up from the arm, eye, and other side. And I want them to be sort of the same size. Let me do the detail of inside his ear. I'm going to put in some more angled lines. Let me do the same on this side. They can be varied, some big, some small. And we're going to do the inside of his ear around. And the side around as well. Here we go. Right, we're going to do the sides of his face now. So coming from the ear, I'm going to leave the space. And I'm going to come a straight line that comes down to near his cheek. One on one side and one on the other side. And I want to curve those in at the ends. And then I want to put another curving line that follows this curve of his mouth. This is going to come in. And out a bit. And then whatever space you have left here, we're going to fill with some sort of zigzaggy lines for his chin. Some big, some small. And think about which direction they are going in. Alright, I could have maybe left a bit of more space, so if you have more space you can add some more chin in for him. Alright, let's do his mane. And so from his ear, I'm going to do a big zigzaggy line that comes down and joins to his chin. Now, we've been practicing doing guidelines lately, lately so I'm going to put one in for myself. So lightly with your pencil, draw a very faint dotted line doesn't have to be a solid line that's going to guide you where you want to go and try and make it sort of similar on the other side so the reason we do that is because it sometimes can be really difficult to do a curve and do zigzags at the same time so i'm going to do zigzags coming all the way down some of them are small some of them are big and you can see how I'm being thoughtful about what direction they are going. And I'm going to join up. I'm going to do the other side. Some small ones, some big ones. And join up. And I'm going to do around the top of his head as well. And I want these angled lines to be pointing out to up to the left. And then some to the top and then I'm going to change direction and come to the other side. I can also do some that come around his face. So I've just got a little bit of space here. You use the space that you have. Let's come in here between his ears and then I want to put some more here. There we go. Okay, we're going to put in some cool detail now using some more gentle curved lines. And this is where I want to be thoughtful about how those curved lines are talking to each other. So what we're going to do is in this area here, we're going to add some cool detail. By using the, the lines that we already have, we're going to add some curved lines that come in towards his face. And we're going to need to be thoughtful about how these curved lines can talk to each other. Some of them can join up to themselves or they can join up to the side of his face. Alright, he's looking really fierce. Now, I think he can do with even more mane, make him really big and fierce. So I'm going to do another row of, um, of mane. So use your pencil, draw another um, guideline for yourself, very light and dotty. From the side, around, over his ears, and down again. I'm going to start at the top and then do some angled lines coming down if 
if you are not happy with how big your mane is, you can go on and add more and more layers of mane to make him really big and fierce. So if yours is smaller and you want him to be more big and fierce and use up more of your paints and put more rows of mane on. I think I can put a last couple of details here for his mane, his chin, he's got a beard. So that's that for today. I hope that you can join me tomorrow. We're going to color this guy in using some great um, shading techniques and, and I hope that you enjoyed this line and how you can see how um, even though he looks really complicated, the elements of shape that we've used are actually very simple. Each one is very simple to do. So it just has more building blocks, but each building block is as simple and easy as the next. Hope you enjoy your day and I'll see you tomorrow.